Hey guys, and welcome back to round four of the 1998 season. Today we have the San Marino Grand Prix. Last week at the Argentine Grand Prix, well, Mika Hakkinen retired, didn't he? And of course, Michael Schumacher failed to score. And that meant David Coulthard threw himself into the title fight, moves up into second place in the championship. And, well, Dominic Voss and James Early did two streamlines failing to score, but it was one titanic battle that went all the way to the chequered flag. I'd like to see more of that today. The 1998 San Marino Grand Prix is next. Here we are in practice. In my original F1 Challenge series, this is the race where I scored my first points. Because all the AIs were, you know, stupid and crashed into each other. So I won a race in my... I mean, I Not much happened, I'll be honest. It's a different program. But. 15th place. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. Oh, that's basically it. Just uh, qualifying pace now. Uh, goal. Oh, God damn it. That's your quickest lap. Here we are then in qualifying. This is my first qualifying run as we're approaching the final... Well, start finish line. We go across it. Sixth it's 6th place. place. 1.1 seconds down on Jack Vilna's provisional time. Uh, but now we start our fastest lap. Can we cross line? We've got some uh, a Minardi and the arrows of Taylor Coppola in the back there. A Williams rejoining the track as well. Attacking the curbs as much as possible. One of my favourite tracks on the calendar, this. Throwing the car through the corners. Up towards the turn 7 hairpin. And we're purple in the first sector. So Mika Hakkinen on provisional pole right now. And we are down in 11th place as we run wide there. It's going to cost us a little bit of time. Trickiest part of the track now. We navigate it uh, quite well, I'd say. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Two litres remaining. Surprisingly, we're only half a second down right now. Going into the final sector now. Final few corners. Alex Virch has just moved up into ninth place. That's pushed us down to 12th. With just two corners to go. Where can we put ourselves on the grid? P6. That's your best lap in this session. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Mika Hakkinen does in fact claim pole position for the San Marino Grand Prix and David Coulthard is alongside him, although a quarter of a second behind. Michael Schumacher, championship leader, starts from third with his teammate Eddie Irvine alongside him on the second row of the grid. Then it's an all Jordan third row of the grid, Ralph Schumacher in fifth and Damon Hill in sixth. The biggest standout performer, James Early, managing to qualify his streamline engineering car up in 7th place. Johnny Herbert in 8th, with the two Williams down in 9th and 10th place. Villeneuve ahead of Frentzen. Verts starts from 11th, ahead of his Benetton teammate for once. And John Alesi will start from 12th. Onto the second half of the grid, Rubens Barrichello and Dominic Foster line up on row 7. Followed by Jos Verstappen, Taylor Cockville can only manage 16th place today. Olivier Panis is 17th alongside the second Benetton of Giancarlo Fisichella. He'll be very disappointed with that 18th place. Jano Trulli in 19th and Pedro Diniz in the second arrow is rounding out the top 20. Then we have the two Tyrrells of Ricardo Rosset ahead of Toransuke Takagi. And in the back row, Esteban Tuero and Shinji Nakano failing to get out of the garage after suffering some technical issues. So he does not set a time and will start from 24th. The Autodromo Enzo Edino Ferrari plays host to the 1998 San Marino Grand Prix. We have 62 laps ahead of us around the 4.9 km circuit, featuring 17 corners and only first featuring on the Grand Prix calendar back in 1980. We have a two-stop strategy uh, as the preferred strategy today. And of course, we have our three drivers, James Early starting up in seventh place. Maybe he can score his first points today. Uh, his teammate Dominic Foster down in 14th and Taylor Cottle started from 16th. Heinz Howard Frentzen won the race here last year, but he's starting all the way down in 10th place today. I don't think he's going to be able to 
uh, remake that uh, historic win last year. But Michael Schumacher starting on pole today. He finished second last year. Can he go one better here at the 1998 San Marino Grand Prix? The race is next. Okay, James. Let's get this right. No fuck ups. Let's go. Go. Wheel spin leaves early, battling with Jack Villeneuve. What a start from Villeneuve, starting down in ninth, he's already up to 7th place. Now Alexander Wurz looks to make his way past James Early. But Early is not going to let that happen. They both run side by side up the hill. Early is not making it easy, but Wurz gets the job done. Now Johnny Herbert's looking interested. Another poor start to an F1 race for James Early. He now has the two stewards of Barry Keller and Verstappen right behind. It's an average start. We lost a few positions, but that's because we were swamped. E10. It's not that bad, though. Lap two, and the fight back is already on. He makes his way past Johnny Herbert. Contraction, it's sad. But Herbert's not going to take that lying down. And fights straight back. The guy in front is Herbert. Up to that point, definitely. On the grass as well. We make the move, what a move. Nice pass. Teammate Foster had a tricky start. Fighting with a lazy and Frenson on the opening lap of the race. The narrow track here is proving hard to find a gap to make an overtake. Taylor Cockbill looks for a move and there's contact. But defence turns into attack. Off the line and Taylor Cockbill was at risk at being swamped by the back markers. Whilst trying to overtake Foster, Taylor Cockbill makes contact. That compromises his exit and his teammate Diniz gets past. And to make matters worse, Giancarlo Fisichella overtakes him. Not the opening lap Taylor Cockbill would have dreamed of. Off the line and Hakkinen got away brilliantly whilst Coulthard was left to defend against the two Ferraris. It could well turn out to be McLaren domination here in Italy. Lap 3 and Cockbill is right on the back of his Arrows teammate Diniz. Once again a bit of contact. They're side by side. Cockbill has the inside line and takes the position. Early is putting pressure on Alexander Wurz. Come on, just fucking send it. His race engineer making his wishes clear. An easy move for the British driver. Or maybe not. That was poor. Further back and teammate Dominic Foster is pushing hard. Maybe too hard.
Frentzen looks to regain positions after a poor start to the race. And now Fisichella becomes the third person in this party. Frentzen round the outside but they're still side by side up the hill. Successful defence for now. Early has another chance at overtaking Wurtz. Maybe around the outside at Tamburello. It's risky, but it pays off. Early now up to 8th place. Well done, James. Great move. Keep it up. Thank you, Jeff. Frentzen just doesn't have the pace, and on lap 5 it's about to get worse. Taylor Cockbill sides his way up the inside, but the job's not done yet. Cockbill has the inside line for the final chicane, but Frenton does not want to give this position up. Now it's down to who has the higher top speed. And Frenton holds onto the position around the outside. Now he has to defend from the prost of Olivier Panis. And Panis squeezes by. Early is making great progress. He is now right on the back of 7th place man Ralf Schumacher. He makes the move look easy. Great move. Keep it up. Thank you, thank you. Foster looks to make his way past Verstappen. This won't be the first battle between the two this year. The two streamlined boys on the road to recovery. Taylor Cockbill is all over the back of Panis. Side by side through Tamburello, he's got the inside line and the position is his. Or so he thought. Panis takes it back. Okay, James, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Damon Hill is in the final points position, but for how much longer? Early moves himself up into sixth place. Good pass. Another lapse in concentration. Sector 2 is clear. Car went into neutral. That leaves early with ground to make up. But Verse isn't waiting around. This is putting a pay to James Early's points chances. And now he has Johnny Herbert to deal with. It's my goddamn fault. The counting the gears. He turns defence into attack, side by side with Verz down the hill. The outside line proves to be effective and early re-overtakes Verts. Giancarlo Fisichella was making up good ground throughout the race after a poor qualifying session. But on lap 15. Disaster! Engine failure sees him retire. He's the first retirement of the 1998 San Marino Grand Prix. However, Fisichella was not the only casualty on lap 15. Jos Verstappen heading through the chicane. Can you believe it? Suspension failure. He's out of the race. Eddie Irvine was running in a solid fourth place, defending from Jack Villeneuve. But brake failure sees him retire on the end of lap 18. It's been a tricky race for Taylor Cockbill so far. He can't get past Panis, but suddenly Panis starts to slow. That's exactly the sort of look the arrows driver needs. But he makes a mistake. 
The following corner, Taylor Cockbill makes a mistake and loses that position. Lap 20 and early is into the pits from P7. Look out for the I think pit I speed limit. just went out of fuel. I'm not even joking. We add 62 litres instead. Can he still score points? He has started to run out of fuel. Genuinely. It's been a shaky start to the season for James Early, and a good result here is just what he needs. He fills up on fuel, gets new tyres, and is set off. All clear. Push now. Your brake temperatures are okay. Gap behind. Gap in front. Rippy tyres. Check. Fuel. Check. Gap on track. Check. His teammate Foster seems to be dealing with some sort of mechanical issue. He loses a bit of ground. On the end of lap 21, Foster is in for his first pit stop. Right now, early running down in 16th place, chasing down the Prost of Jarno Trulli. These drivers ahead of course have yet to pit. Sector 1 is quick, Sector 2 is 0.6, off the pace, Sector 3 times OK. Early had to repair a bit of damage in the pits after his off earlier on in the race and has a 5 second buffer back to his teammate Dominic Foster. Early has just heard over the radio that Trulli has an issue. But the information is too late. Disaster, Early's first retirement. Oh dear. Mika Hakkinen is the last of the front runners to pit. That means he rejoins in the race lead. However, the two Jordans have yet to pit, so Damon Hill runs second and Ralph Schumacher just behind in third. The end of lap 25 sees Taylor Cockburn in for his first pit stop. There's a battle brewing between the Salva of John Alesi and the Stuart of Rubens Barrichello and Dominic Foster waits in the wings right behind. These three have been battling for a number of laps now and Alesi is under pressure here from Foster. But the streamline car is struggling to make a move. Lap 41 and Alesi is pulled away from Foster. Foster trickles into the pits for his second stop. Race leader Hakkinen has been serviced for the final time in the race. He rejoins ahead of his teammate David Coulthard. Once again, Taylor Cockbill pitting on the same lap as race leader Mika Hakkinen. So far today, Taylor Cockbill has had a very underwhelming race. The one time Cockbill managed to get past Panis, he went wide at the following corner. It's been very frustrating, but it's a race in the pit lane between the two. And Panis wins out again. Dominic Foster is on the fringes of a top 10 finish. Until... Brake failure sees him retire from the San Marino Grand Prix. It's Streamline's first double retirement. Foster was running in a solid 12th position. He was just ahead of Panis and Cockbill. Until disaster struck. A hefty impact with the wall and he is certainly out of this race. Cockbill has managed to get close enough to Panis to have a run. Down the hill. He looks to the inside but he can't outbreak the Frenchman. Mika Hakkinen has led from start to finish. He's claimed the fastest lap. This is a Grand Slam victory for the Finn as he comes across the line to win the 1998 San Marino Grand Prix. To make things better for the McLaren team, David Coulthard comes home in second place. The Ferrari of Michael Schumacher, the sole Ferrari in the race, finishes in third. Jack Villeneuve had a poor qualifying but makes up for it in the race. He's going to come across the line to claim fourth position.
The lead Jordan of Ralph Schumacher now exiting the final chicane, he finishes in fifth. And Heinz Harold Frensen had a terrible start to the race but finishes in the points. This brings to an end a very frustrating race for Taylor Cockbill, just not managing to pull off the overtakes. Even into the final chicane, he's still battling away, Panis in 12th and Taylor Cockbill in 13th. There we have it guys, the results. Mika Hakkinen wins the San Marino Grand Prix and it's a McLaren 1-2, just shy of one and a half hours for the racer, uh, distance and time at least. Michael Schumacher completing the podium for Ferrari. Onto the full race classification, Jack Villeneuve, he started all the way down in ninth place, had a great opening few laps and due to Irvine's retirement as well and getting past both the Jordans, he finishes up in fourth place. Ralph Schumacher managed to get the jump on his teammate after the final round of pit stops, he finishes in fifth and Heinz Harold Frensen, carrying an unbelievable amount of fuel for his first stint, finishes in sixth place, Damon Hill just missing out on points. Johnny Herbert once again impressing, up in eighth place, Rubens Barrichello, um, he scored his first points last time out at the Argentine Grand Prix, finishes in ninth and verts rounding out the top ten, followed by Alesi, Panis and Taylor Cockbill, the final drivers on the lead lap. Then we have Diniz, Trulli, Rossette, Takagi, Nakano, all a lap down and Esteban Tuero in the second Minardi, two laps down. Dominic Foster of course retiring due to brakes. Uh, James Early had that massive accident at the hairpin. Eddie Irvine's brakes failed, failed into the final chicane. Giancarlo Fisichella's engine went and Jos Verstappen suspension failure. Now, what does this all mean for the Drivers' Championship? David Coulthard has closed the gap to two points to the leader Michael Schumacher. Mika Hakkinen is now in third place and Damon Hill relegated to fourth after failing to score points today. The second half of the standing still the same. Eddie Irvine failing to score, or failing even to finish the race in the opening four races of the season. Terrible. And the streamline is not the fairy tale start they would have wanted to their first ever season in Formula One. But that's how realistic it is. It's difficult to get your feet um, on the ground planted with some points under, under your belt. But uh, I'm sure they'll get there. And talking of teams, the constructors' standings, McLaren have a healthy lead now. 12 points ahead of their rivals, Ferrari. Ferrari's failings not coming from their lead driver, Michael Schumacher, but their second driver, Eddie Irvine, and his terrible reliability so far. Jordan are solidly in third place. Williams will be disappointed with fourth in the constructors right now. Jack Villeneuve picking up eight points, and Heinz Harald Frensen getting off the mark today with his first point of the season. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support me further, Make sure to check out my Patreon, the link is on screen and in the description. You get access to some cool benefits as you can see here on screen. And that's all from me for today. Next week it's the Spanish Grand Prix, that's Wednesday 14th of October at 6pm BST. But wait, there's more. If you can't get enough action, then don't worry, this Sunday 11th of October 6pm BST it's the 2006 European Grand Prix as part of my F1 Challenge series. Make sure to check out all my social media links, of course, and join the Discord if you're not already a member. It's a fantastic place. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.